All right. Hey, guys. I uh, wanted to look back on Enzolytics for the day. It's one of my favorite things to do. Um, and you see I marked up this with these black lines here. Now, I just made a video on divergence. Um, and what I'll do is I'll go ahead and drop that in the comments so you can find that. But, um, but I made a video specifically about this, so I won't spend a whole lot of time on it. But what we saw here was bearish divergence um, on the RSI. And, uh, and I, I tweeted out about that um, right as it was happening. And sure enough, um, that was that, um, that downward move. And that probably spooked a bunch of us uh, after having gone down on such a downward trend for a while there. But you can see we're, we're curving back up there pretty nice. I think everyone kind of knows the way the day went. Um, no, no big news there. I do like how on the, the one day intraday, uh, one day time range intraday, intraday chart, I cannot talk. Um, yeah, I like how the slow stochastic uh, pulled up at the end of the day. That was good. Um, that made that made me feel quite quite all right. And so anyway, uh, we're gonna pull out to the the five day time range. Um, you know, you really get a sense there uh, through that moving average, that green line, kind of where we're headed. We we came down right in around Tuesday, I think, um, is when we started pulling up, and uh, the trend line is moving along. And uh, sure enough, uh, so is that buy signal. So I think I think we're doing well. Um, tell you what, just for the sake of, uh, you know, not being confusing, I'll get rid of these arrows. Uh, um, and, um, and, you know, look at that MACD doing well, uh, doing, doing really well. Um, and the RSI is doing fine, fine, fine. Uh, let's move out to that one month. And, uh, sure enough, we see the, you know, basically it's just displaying out. You got to remember this, this, um, this line right here uh, that's my nine day moving average it's going to be a little tighter than my red which is my 20 day moving average so if you're ever kind of wondering what price is doing in general having a, a moving average is really <laughs> helpful um and we can see here that the uh, slow stochastic is touching the the uh, the moving average there on the one month um but uh, look at that. The MACD in the one month is above the signal line. I think there are good things happening here. Um, you know, I, I just think, think, yeah, tomorrow's going to be, tomorrow's going to be a day. Tomorrow's going to be a day. Uh, right here at the end, you know, uh, we see on the uh, three month, see the um, uh, Williams accumulation distribution curve up. We see the slow stochastic uh, curving up, we see price curving up. Um, the only thing that worried me here was this upward wick on that uh, that candle. Um, that was the last candle, and we're looking here at the three the three month or the daily time frame, um, and uh, and we have an upward wick there. Upward wicks tend to kind of push prices down. Well, let's keep an eye on that uh, tomorrow. I think a lot of the indicators are looking pretty happy, but. I, I, you know, that because we had that great high and then we just didn't get back to it. But, um, but I think in general, everywhere I look, we're, we're talking about good things. Um, and, uh, and we'll jump out real fast to the nine month just to get a glimpse of where we are. St almost, almost entering by territory on a nine month time frame. That is phenomenal. Um, last time we did that, that was when we had that great gain. Right there, that little run. Uh, I know we would all love to see something like this. Um, I have told you that I believe this is a double bottom. So theory on double bottom is this space right here, this value will duplicate itself on top. Um, I've heard a lot of people kind of say that that's, a, that's dreamy dream stuff. We'll see. But that is the June 24th. 2021 on the Enzo Lakes chart. Peace out.